Hello guys, it's me Simo Orohara and in this video we'd like to talk about Sayafushi and Zangitsu and why they are considered rare shapes of Zanpakuto. So first of all, as I always say, the appearance of Nimaya in his being the maker of the Zanpakuto and to be more precise, the maker of the Asauchi, these things changed a lot of our understanding of the Zanpakuto. That is, it is true that the term Asauchi was mentioned at the beginning of the story by the Osan Zangitsu. But at that time, we didn't have an accurate understanding of how the Zanpakuto was formed. What we knew back then was that the Shinigami reflected the essence of their soul inside the soul. And this is how the Zanpakuto was formed. But with the appearance of Nehemiah, we learned that this process, the process of reversing the essence of Shinigami's souls, can only be done in the presence of something called the Asauchi, meaning that we cannot, for example, bring a regular sword and tell the Shinigami to do the Jinzin method, and that is how it will be reversed. No, this process can't only be done in the presence of the Asauchi, which has the feature of containing the essence of the Shinigami's soul, which will be formed in a form of the Zanpakuto with its own entity and its own name as well. Of course, there is only one case where it was possible for a Shinigami to have a Zanpakuto without the need for the Asauchi of Nimaya, and I'm speaking here about Zangitsu. So this creature white played the same role as the Asauchi, because according to Nimaya, it was made in the same way that Nimaya makes his Asauchi, which is the creation of the Asauchi through the souls of several Shinigamis. However, and while the question was directed to Kubu, which was about Ichigo's dual Zanpakuto, Kubu said something that increased the definition of the Zanpakuto, which is the issue of the sheath. Previously, I don't think anyone had paid much attention to the sheath issue. All the focus was on the blade, but it appeared from Kubu's answer that the sheath is an important part of the Zanpakuto. In fact, there is a clear reference to this. In the manga, we have all seen that the thing that distinguishes Nimaya's Zanpakuto is that it doesn't contain a sheath because of the catching power of its blade. And notice what Nimaya said in this scene. He said, since I couldn't make a sheath for this sword, I wasn't able to send it to the Serich, and so it was an incomplete sword. And this sentence, the phrase incomplete sword, gives you a clear indication that a Zanpakuto cannot be a complete Zanpakuto unless the sheath is present. Otherwise, it will be considered an incomplete sword. And in the story, as Gobu said, there were only two cases, namely Sayafushi and Zangetsu, who didn't have the sheath. Of course, later Zangetsu, after the training that Ichigo went through with Nimaya, uh, the two blades would become the blade and the other the sheath. And in the Bankai, the sheath would merge with the blade and form the true Zangitsu. And also there is another thing that caught my attention, is that is it possible that Sayafushi was also created on the body of a special Shinigami that made him look like that? I mean here, like what happened with Zangitsu. For example, white was a result of a fusion between the soul of a Shinigami and a holo. And also the same thing can be said about Ikomoko Domoi. He is a hole that was merged and sealed inside a Zanpakuto. Therefore, I wonder if the same thing happened to Sayafushi. You guys, what do you think about this topic? Tell me your opinions and see you guys in my next video.